This is my first review, so please don't get mad at me. Also, I am not sponsored by Hueyon, so yeah. So, the overall packaging is actually pretty good. Um, I have been using, like, an Osu tablet, and packaging and stuff was, like, really, really bad. It was just in, like, a foam case or, like, a foam bag. So, uh, this is a big step for, like, but this tablet is not, it's not heavy, but it's just enough, like, weight to the point where it's, like, it's not gonna fall off your desk, it's not gonna move around, and it feels really solid. It feels like, uh, you're, you're holding an iPad, basically. You're holding, like, a pretty weighty, pretty heavy lap, or, like, um, iPad. The tablet has, like, um, it has 10 express touch bar, where, like, you can touch, the, change the volume, play videos. Um, there's a little sensor bar that you can zoom in and zoom out uh, on, your, like, your canvas or whatever. Um, I believe that the f the past Hueyon tablets did have this, but it was, like, a, it was, like, a scroll wheel, and I really wanted to get that one, but I, I got this one because it was, in a way, cheaper, it was bigger, and it wasn't a 2017 or 2018 model, and it had tilt support. The pen for the tablet is really good. It's weighty. It's it's really, it feels good in your hand. It's a little big, but it's not big to the point where it's like, I'm. This is not comfortable for me. Um, <clears throat> so the like the buttons feel really good. There's like uh, two buttons on the actual pen itself for like a little shortcut keys. Um, and the grip is rubber, so it feels really good. Again, my Osu tablet had a all plastic pen, and I hadn't realized it until now, but that tablet was basically holding me back. So the pen comes with like a, a little stand for it so that you can put your pen there so you don't lose it or anything. Uh, if you unscrew it, it comes with eight um, replacement nibs so that you don't have to worry about using it so much or just overall having this tablet for a long time. I'm pretty sure that those eight nibs will last you um, about a couple years if you're not very rough with your tablet. This tablet has Android support, basically meaning that you can plug in these little pieces for either two of the androids and you will be able to plug up your tablet and use it on your phone. Uh, the downsides to this is you can use the express keys and only uh, half of the tablet you can actually use for it, but I have seen that people can change like the layout and stuff so that it works like that, but I haven't seen like a lot of people do that. So I just suggest that you just use your laptop or something, but you can, it is an option to use it on your phone or tablet. Like I said, the tablet has like a little touch bar so that you can zoom in on the canvas. You can change it if you get the driver. Um, you can change like the settings of everything, but for what it's mainly used for, it's for like zooming in on the canvas or changing brush sizes, but I haven't fully changed any of it, so I would not know. Um, the actual tablet, it feels really good. The surface of the tablet has like a feeling of really smooth but not like it really it's not going to mess up your art but it's really smooth the back of the like uh, the back of the tablet has like a spray paint design it looks like someone splat paint on it uh there are other colors that you can get there's like a space gray and normal gray and a uh cherry red or a, a weird version like a pinkish red but i didn't get that one again but yeah, it has a really cool design on it. It's way different from any other tablet I've seen. And if you really want like your tablet to have a like a personality, like if you really want to stand out or you want it to, if you're gonna be using it on a day-to-day -day basis, you're gonna want a cool design. So I suggest that you get this kind of tablet. For comparison, I put my hand on the tablet so you can see how big it is. Um, the tablet, uh, the live area is by six by 10 inches. So if that doesn't fit your kind of how big or how small you need it to be, then that's fine. But the working area is fairly big for any tablet I've ever seen. Overall, this tablet is really good. It stands up to some of the best tablets that I've seen. So um, for the rest of the video, you're going to see me um, 
drawing with it in a way because that's the only way that you'll see how well it works and also you'll see how bad my art is so yeah um so so quick little things to say um after i have drawn this drawing with the tablet um the tablet it feels really nice to draw with it is smooth you get really smooth lines smooth drawing um, it feels really good. It really feels professional, and I know I'm not a quote-unquote professional, but it feels like something that I shouldn't be having. Like, it feels like something that somebody else should be using because of how good it feels. I just can't stress enough that this thing feels so good to use. The surface is really good. Um, I didn't have a problem with how big the active area is. Um, in the recording, it looks like it's really big it is really big but i have a really small desk so that's probably the reason why it looks like it takes up half of my thing uh i put the drawing table on my laptop so that you can actually see me using it although that's not how i use my tablets usually but that's just the way that i want you guys to watch me use it technically this is the end of the video but if you do want to watch the end result you can go to the end of the video or you can just look at the the you can just look at my uh, thumbnail for the video, but that's basically what it is. Um, this is, again, this is basically the end of the video. I don't want to stretch this on for too long, but I, I thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope that you guys get this tablet, because I am really enjoying this tablet. And I'll see you guys in the next video.